solar without an atmosphere or with an atmosphere. That doesn't change, right? We're not, we didn't do anything fancy like have some of the absorption in the atmosphere, which we could do. This emits space um, based on Ts to the fourth, to the fourth, so there's the balance. That's that side of the, of the model can be done. And we can compute a Ts the other side, on the other hand, this is being completely absorbed by the atmosphere. We're assuming that all the infrared is absorbed by the atmosphere. Then, the thing is, if we absorb it, it still has to get to space somehow. So the atmosphere has to emit the radiation to space. So that's going to have some atmospheric temperature to the fourth times sigma. This value coming out here has to equal that. That we know that's true. Because we still have to have a top of the atmosphere balance. But at the same time, the, the atmosphere is emitting it downward. All right, it's doing it in both directions. So that's going to mean that we now, instead of having just the solar input, we also have this atmosphere input down here. <coughs> so the two of these have to equal that. At any given level, all the arrows have to add up. And they have to be equal. And so the trick to these models that we'll be kind of working with is to realize that the all, there's two things that have to be true. That the top of the atmosphere has to be in balance, so the amount going in has to equal the amount going out if we're going to be in an equilibrium. And at any level in here, the arrows have to add up. So in other words, this off the surface should be sigma t sig f to the fourth, should equal this number plus the this number. These are the two inputs, that's the output. They should be equal. If we go to the atmosphere, we can say the same thing. The atmosphere gets all its energy from sigma t s to the fourth, so that has to equal two times sigma t a to the fourth. Because there's, there's output going in both directions. So figuring out how to solve these equations is just a matter of adding up the inputs and the outputs at a given level. All right, so here we do it for um, top of the atmosphere, no atmosphere, sorry, top of the, just the, the moon, get it that way. And that's the balance. Uh, here's the balance on this side, and I've written it in this case in terms of these two pieces, this part. We solve for the sigma at the surface plus that plus that. I'm sorry, equal to those two. That's all we've done down there. And then, and then it's, yeah, that's exactly what it's done. So here's the input solar, here's the input atmospheric infrared. Those two added together have to equal the output. So that's the balance at the surface.